Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included in the Ultimate Base 2.0. Today it is finally time we're going to visit the second planetoid, figure out what we can get from there and plan out an infrastructure. In between the episodes, I continued with my research project a little bit. I now want to continue the Radbolt propulsion so we can finish with the Cryofuel propulsion and then there's only this research here at the bottom to go. But essentially I will be able to take apart most of the research infrastructure so that we can build something new. One thing in order to properly deal with the second planetoid we have to do is activate the teleporter units. And there should be another one here at the bottom. This here is the output. Now the question is who are we going to send over and I think the best candidates are Jean or one of our builders slash diggers. The reason I might want to send Jean is because of the mechatronics engineering that I haven't quite reached yet with anyone else. Oh actually that's a lie, Lindsay also has it however she is the operator, we need her in the base. But in the beginning to plan things out I might just send Marie or Ren and we need to use the teleporter units right here. They will take a couple of cycles to actually recharge, so for every trip we do, we have to carefully think what we want to achieve. The biggest problem of course being the morale needs. In the meantime, I want to make sure that we keep on digging up all the materials and finally get that finished as well. One thing we should already be able to prepare is a pipe down the line here. Let me actually see where this is gonna end up, right here. I probably want to come from the bottom. Ah, let's just do it from the top here. This is going to be my oxygen line. And what I probably want to see is this connection severed and then the new oxygen is gonna come in from here for the base. And we send the other one to the second planetoid. So the goal on the second planetoid is basically to produce nothing on our own. We're just gonna use the materials and resources we have in this world, at least for life support. And we're also gonna send most of the materials from the second planetoid to this one here, our main base. Now there's actually one more thing I wanted to test out, the beach chairs. Even though you said they're messing with the schedule, but so is the wind tunnel. We want to probably build this out of granite for the decor value. And I need to be careful, this also requires a bunch of reed fiber. But in theory we could set up about four of these beach chairs and then another thing I thought about doing is showers. We can now easily add a bunch of showers to the mix, looks like approximately four. And then maybe we're gonna reroute the pipes a little bit so they go into here, that will make more sense. Let me quickly speed these pipes up and also the showers so that we can actually make use of them. And maybe quickly reroute the water here. Now one more thing I wanted to do is move the exosuit forge. Ah no, this actually requires four tiles. This is not good. What I wanted was to have three transit tube access points and then the forge. But maybe we can get by just using two of these. We also have enough materials to upgrade a couple of cables that I'm gonna do. And then of course we wanna connect this. And by the way, we now have completely switched to barbecue. I have 43,000 kilocalories, which actually makes me want to compost some of the other stuff. We're gonna keep barbecue and omelets as a reserve, so all the fried mushroom in theory can go. If we go ahead and compost this, it will be brought over to our compost chest somewhere here. It will eventually rot and we can feed it to the poke shells that will farm in the future. There we go, the insulated pipes are in place, that means this should be filled up with the rest of the water and we will be able to take apart the other pipes here. We're gonna connect the output to the system, I'm not sure why this isn't continuing here. Uh, let me just connect this for a brief moment. Yeah, wonderful, take that apart and reconnect this. Wonderful, that means the showers are hooked up and in place. I would assume we're also gonna need a little bit of light here, so let's go ahead and set this up. We can make use of this cabling here, no problemo, come on. I'm gonna go all in and actually compost all of the fried mushroom we currently have. Which brings us down to 186 kilocalories. Oh there we go, they're actually already showering, wonderful. Did that make you happy? I hope so. Also if we have a look at the skill points, look at how high the morale is sometimes. We are approaching 40 morale without issues. Anyways, back to moving the exosuit forge, I would like to bring this over here, as well as the storage bin for all my clothing. As mentioned in a previous episode, this is going to be the natural reserve, giving them quite a bit of extra morale. And one of your suggestions was to actually put the reed fiber in this room so we can automatically resupply the exosuit forge very nearby. I really like the idea actually, so why not? There we go, forge and chest have been moved. This means I now have all of this space available for more Atmosuit docks once I wish to have them. 
Right now, in terms of mushrooms, we are getting too many. I think we can get by with just one. And if I have a look at the meal lice, that seems to be used up just with the two plants here. Also, we still don't have the temperature quite, so I decided to go back and farm a bunch of reed fiber right here near the coal generator where it is warm and cozy. Ah, well, you look at that. We have some dupe sunbathing and just as I expected, it is a similar problem as with the wind tunnel. It just takes much longer than the schedule allows. I'm gonna leave it in place for now. If it messes too much with the schedules, I'm gonna take it apart again. But for now, I would like to see a little bit of light in this room. Hmm, this is not quite lighting up all of the mess tables. I guess some dupes will just have to suffer. We're gonna go ahead and power it up with this wire. And then I think I wanna wrap everything up with a little bit of molding. Let's see, we can do some here in the kitchen as well. We just might have the space for a painting here. Wonderful. And I might want to do some molding here in the hospital. This one is the worst in terms of decorations. Plus we can hide the cable a little bit. Yeah, this is like taking a day off. This is incredible. Takes like a cycle or so. Marie now got the passably relaxed buff with 5 plus morale. Let's hope it actually holds up for a couple of days. Okay, for my first trip to the second planetoid, I just want to explore the surroundings a little bit. I want to figure out where the teleporters are. And I believe Jean is almost ready. I want to wait for her to go to bed. There she is, stamina recovered. That is enough sleep for you. Let's send her to the teleported transmitter. It's your turn to shine. There she is, ready to be teleported. Let's freaking do this. See ya on the other side. And there we go. Here we are on the second planetoid. We already discovered both of the teleporters. This is absolutely incredible. So all we really have to do is make our way downstairs, I would say. Uh, let's just dig straight down. We're gonna be getting some sedimentary rock that we can use. Uh, actually, I need to dig some up first. Uh, let's just keep on going here. And I want to make sure we activate the teleporter module right away. Another thing we might want to do, but I'm not sure I'm gonna do that right now, is reveal this duplicant that is going to run this space at least in the foreseeable future, since they have no skill points assigned. And one moment, we might want to prevent the polluted water from running down. I would say we're gonna grab the sedimentary rock here and just place a tile in this place. There we go. You go right there and that should solve our problem. Now we can go ahead and ladder straight down without any accidents, hopefully. At the same time, we also want to make our way upstairs here. All the way to this point and just dig our way over here. Activate this as well. And then we should be able to transfer oxygen and materials amongst these two planetoids. <laughs> oh, amazing. Thank you, Jean. You're doing a wonderful job thus far. Okay, we're almost at the end of Jean's schedule. I'm not going to activate this just yet and release the duplicant. I'm going to send her back for another day. And then she can uh, go ahead and take a break. Recharging 14%. Looks like it takes even more than two cycles to replenish this. Well, that is rather unfortunate, I have to say. But yeah, as soon as we set up the most basic infrastructure, the new duplicant in the cryopod will be able to take over and take his sweet time. The oxygen line is already in place, so this should be going straight to the teleporter. Well, it's not quite in place. In the meantime, we are accumulating more and more barbecue. That means I will be also able to send over a little bit of food to the other planetoid and make sure we always have a little bit of a supply over there. We are almost ready for our second visit. Before we do that, I want to plan things out a little bit. My goal would be to set up everything required for the basic needs of the new duplicant. Actually, they do get started with 17 kilograms of nutrient bars. That doesn't sound too shabby, if you ask me. What a pity. Looks like I cannot even plan things out unless Jean is back over here. But essentially, the bathroom is gonna go right here. We are gonna live with the polluted oxygen for the time being. It only gives the yucky lungs debuff. It's not that much of an issue. However, what I would like on the other side is make this the lowest room for the time being. So this one is gonna fill up with a little bit of carbon dioxide. Considering we only have one duplicant, we might have to help out with that a little bit. I mean, what we could do is just use our carbon dioxide line. That shouldn't be an issue at all. Yeah, actually, it's gonna be fairly easy. If I connect these pipes, then I can send some carbon dioxide over, first of all, in order to have a secure food storage. So I guess let's just wait a little bit longer and we're gonna send Jean back over. This time around, she's most likely gonna spend two cycles on the other planetoid. There we go. Teleporter has recharged. Let's move Jean over again. And now that we actually have an alive duplicant over here, we can go ahead and set everything up. I want to make this as easy as possible. 
So just one outhouse, one wash basin. I also think I'm going to unequip the suit for... Ch no, that, that, the, not the clothing. I wanted to unequip the suit. There we go. You can actually uh, keep the clothing. Yeah, there we go. We have to have this much time at least. We're also going to need a place to sleep that I'm going to set up right here for now as well as a mess table right next to it. Once we send Chin back over and leave this duplicant at the task, we will make their own bedroom and mess hall to help with the morale. We will have to make use of this water pool right here in order to build a pitcher pump like so. I want to make sure we can still hop over and then what else do we need? That should be everything, right? We are still doing good with the schedule, but I might be tempted to put Chin in the lower schedule here for just a brief moment, at least this cycle. And now she is filling up the wash basin, that's good. Also, the outhouse has been filled up. She should go ahead and activate the teleporter as well. Wonderful, everything is actually in place for the new duplicant. It's a little bit of a mess here at the bottom. But I guess what we can get started with is opening this up a little bit. I want to make sure the polluted oxygen can escape somewhere. And we might have to mop this up as well. Now the question is, do we even want to keep her here for another day? I mean, it's really not necessary. We should have enough food to last for a couple of cycles until we have this ready. Let's see, maybe one thing we can do is already set up the gas pipe. So we want to make sure oxygen is flowing into the base. So I guess we can make this happen approximately here. And then also eventually we're going to need access to water once we use this up anyhow. But we can bring over the water from the main base as well. In terms of power, I'm probably going to give them a little bit of coal in order to run a couple of coal generators here. And then we can start taking care of cleaning this up a little bit and making a good infrastructure for the new duplicant. In this case, I'm going to let Sheen do her thing for a little while. Just build a couple of things in preparation. I'm actually going to put her back on the schedule. And what we should do now is uh, defrost friend. Yeah, let's do that. Wonderful. A frozen friend. Otto. Hold the phone. We already have an Otto, but this guy is on the other planetoid, so it wouldn't matter. Still, let's check out Otto. He likes construction and farming. He will have to do a lot of construction, but not really farming, so... Maybe in the beginning, improved carrying wouldn't be the worst of ideas. I'm gonna give him that skill. Oh, actually, he doesn't come with the skill already. Anyhow, I want to make sure before Jean's schedule is over that I'm gonna send her back. We have a little bit of extra time that I'm gonna spend building a pipe network with a little vent there. As for Otto, I believe in the beginning this shift here is gonna be perfect for him, the training shift. So uh, that's the wrong Otto. Yeah, we want to bring new Otto right over here. I might give him one more downtime slot for some more morale. And then right here, as soon as the teleporter transmitter has been recharged, I'm going to use it with Jean. Looks like it's going to be a close call. I'm going to put her back in the longer schedule so nothing bad happens. Jean, go over there, get teleported back. Oh, wait, you must not forget the Atmo suit. Um, please equip that, uh, equip it. Yeah, wonderful. And then get teleported back. That added up perfectly. I'm gonna put her back in the normal schedule now. And now we have Otto here taking care of everything. Of course, he's not doing it very efficiently. Maybe don't start sweeping up here while stuff is still dropping. Uh, looks like we're already bringing some oxygen. That is not necessarily something I wanted right off the bat. What I wanted was to connect these two pipes and then theoretically... No, hold on. Shouldn't the carbon dioxide have priority now? Maybe not. Let's just go ahead and cut this off right now. Uh, carbon dioxide, please flow. Whoa, what is happening here? I guess we have some confusion going on that we can solve with a bridge. Not sure why this is necessary, but here we are. Otto is officially taking his first poop. I'm so proud of you, man. But here we are and we can take our sweet time to set up some infrastructure. First thing, as I mentioned, I'm gonna do is fill this up with carbon dioxide and then we can place a ration box here. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Let me just make a tiny bit of progress here and then I'm gonna be right back. Alrighty, I kept on playing for a couple of cycles in order to set up the infrastructure. Our new mess hall is right here. We have a little barrack upstairs and on the right side there is our new toilet. All of these now count as rooms that are increasing the morale. What I'm doing right now is taking away some more material so that we can leave the carbon dioxide here at the bottom. And then on the top here, we have filled up this room with the carbon dioxide. I took myself the liberty of bringing over a whole bunch of omelets that are resting in this ration box. I did have a little bit of an accident, that's why it's not completely fresh, but it shouldn't go down anymore. 
with the same method, I would like to bring over a little bit of coal. So we're not going to bring omelets anymore, but I would like to see a consumable ore, a little bit of coal, and I'm also going to allow manual use. So what this is going to do is going to allow the duplicants to ship over a little bit of coal, at least initially. Otto, of course, had to get himself trapped, but essentially what I like to do now is also bring over a little bit of refined minerals. So not only coal, but maybe some of my copper that I'm producing right now. And this can all be shipped over for Otto to build a couple of things. That was another load of coal. No, that actually was the copper. I'm not sure how much we exactly need. I think I'm gonna let Marie fill this up. Let's stop with the copper for now. So now if we check over here, we should have some coal. Mm, that might not be enough in order to get things going. We should probably keep the coal line up for a little while. But you can see where we're going with this. Eventually I'm gonna lead the cabling all the way upstairs so we can also enable the conveyor loader. I'm then gonna set the conveyor loader to basically almost all the materials. And we're gonna set it to a priority of 4 or so. So whenever I give Otto any commands, he's gonna take care of them first. But whenever he would idle otherwise, he's then going to constantly bring materials upstairs in order to be teleported over to my base. Now, what else do we have to do to keep this going? Let me actually check here. Are we still doing some research? How far are you? How hot are you? Just 100 degrees. And we are halfway done with the research. Yeah, the radiant research definitely takes the longest. Mainly, of course, because of the rat bolt collection. Otto is taking a day off. How wonderful. In the meantime, the other Otto has to do a lot of things. And you can see there are some debuffs. So if we check out his skills, he has a morale of 6, which should be the lowest, even with a couple of debuffs. I put his skill into improved carrying. I now regret this a little bit. I should have gone for hard digging. So maybe just one improved carrying and then hard digging, super hard digging. And then soon enough, he's also gonna have to learn uh, mechatronics engineering. So we're gonna need improved carrying anyways, but super hard digging in the beginning would have been nice. So now these might be the next two skill points I'm gonna spend and then we'll have to think about how we can upgrade his morale in this world so we can keep going. Something I'm already curious about is what can we find here? Yeah, I cannot even dig through here. Ah, this is so disappointing. Otto, you really need those skills, my friend. But right now it would be really convenient to get everything set up. And by everything, I mainly mean a smart battery. We brought over the copper, if you remember. And then all we have to do is hook this up as well as some automation wire that goes from the smart battery to the coal generator. So we're not wasting any coal as long as the battery is empty. Otto is taking another deserved nap. This transition actually to the second planetoid for once hasn't been stressful at all. Also, I know because the home base is basically running by itself. I was able to observe Otto a little bit, help him out wherever needed. And soon enough we can do things such as uh, pumping over the polluted water. This would be great. I don't really think we're gonna need polluted water in this world or actually even normal water. We simply don't need it. Oxygen and food are gonna be supplied by the main base. Let's go ahead and ship over some more coal. I definitely want to have at least 20 tons in the new world. So one of the first things we probably have to do is uh, get away in order to get rid of the carbon dioxide. This can be destroyed completely. Then I also want to pump over all the polluted water as mentioned. So that is going to be another thing we want to hook up. Actually, maybe we can get this prepared right here already. Uh, let me go down here. Gonna need some wiring connected to this and then we're gonna start pumping things up. I mean, there's no reason for us to wait, really. And if we do this nicely, yeah, we can go straight up here. Uh, let me think. Well, this is temporary. All we want is to attach it to the teleporter input. This also means on the other side, we want to make sure the water is arriving safely. We're gonna go ahead and lead it through the flooring here. And I want it to be brought to the cleaning system. So maybe we can go straight down here or up in this case and connect it right there. And I only really want to do that if I have the space for it. So a bridge will do the trick. Cool. That's another issue taken care of, I would say. We will be able to collect all this polluted water and then we'll have to do some more pumping downstairs. But you can already see now we will have access to all the precious oil. Otto just needs to spice up his game a little bit. But yeah, I guess with that out of the way, we are ready to wrap up today's episode. I sure hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.